Hey guys, it's Schlaxer here, and um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create what I call a spaz cube. Alright, here is what the final should look like. Um, it's Matt, I put a uh, material on this, so you'll have if you want to do that. That's your thing. That's basically what you want it to look like. Let me open that up for you guys bigger. It just kind of like zooms around there, just spazzing out. Um, it's a 50 frame animation, so yeah. All right, get in the blender, new frame. Um, for this you can actually keep this cube, your default cube. Um, yeah. So you want to move this above the x-axis, which is that red line. You want to go over to the left side right here until your arrow gets to be like two arrows on the side. You want to right click to where it says split area, hit split area, go down to somewhere by the bottom, doesn't really matter. Alright, now right below this little thing right here, see my mouse, see it right here, see my mouse? Alright, well, follow my mouse, here we go. Right there. We go up the timeline. You see a bunch of things like this. Um, some ones that um, are going to be useful to you as a beginner will be the IPO curve editor, the action editor, UV image editor, and timeline, and of course 3D view. I really don't use the other ones, you know. So yeah, go in the timeline. All right. Don't worry about these numbers. Don't think of them as being like huge. That's just your frames. Um, it goes up to 250 because that is the average frame per animation. First off, we're going to change the ending frame to 50. Okay. Alright, so first. Well, second. You want to go, you want to bring your cube uh, to about right there. Just anywhere, really. You can start off, it doesn't matter. If you ever want to check, just go zero, and that's where it's going to start. I'm actually going to move my cube in a little bit because I'm cool like that. <laughs> now, um, make sure that you are working in front of you. It's just better, I find. Alright, um, now I have X and Z axis. So, yeah. Alright. So, you first want to press I on your keyboard. Here's all your keys. This is the insert key button. I on your keyboard, insert, I, insert, go to location, rotation, scale, hit it, come down to your timeline, grab the green line, move it up to the fifth frame, you see this yellow one, that's your um, keyframe, location, rotation, scale key, alright, now you want to twist, hit R twice, just kind of like move it around, you know, it doesn't, it, for this, it does not matter what, how you put it. So I'm just going to make throw it like that. Now you want to press insert key again. Rotation, rotation, location, rotation scale. Go to the 10th frame. Move this anywhere. Hit R twice. Just kind of blah. Whatever. Insert rotation, location, rotation scale. Move this up to the 15th frame. Move this again. R twice. Spin the cube. Insert a key. Rotation, location, rotation scale. I still can't even say that. That's sad. Alright. Now you want to move this again. Rotate it. Insert the key. Move this. Move this again. Move your cube again. Rotate your cube. Insert a key. Move it up to the 30th frame. Move your cube. R hit R twice. Spin it around. Insert location rotation scale key. Move your frame up to 35. Move your cube, R twice, 
insert your key. Move it up to 40. Rotate it. Insert your key again. 45. Move it. Rotate it twice. Insert your key. Move up to your 50th and last frame. And then you move it back to that. Okay. So, there you go. You officially have this. Now you just throw that green line up there. Alright, so uh, this, is, this was your... Uh, last frame right there so uh, yeah now we go to uh, this little picture of the mountains scene button we're going to go to animate just press animate and just let it run through it's 50 frames it should take around a minute to do this um, one thing people uh, screw up a lot on is the fact that you can't do anything. Like, see, see my dinosaur out here? There, that means, you know, froze, you know, re not responding. Um, if you click on anything else, your render will automatically, like, screw up your computer. Like, screw up whatever you're on. It won't save it. it Blender won't respond. It'll take forever to it respond, and most people don't have the patience for it, so they have to exit out and redo everything. Alright, the cool thing about Blender is you could move it from frame 1 to frame 10, and it would fill in everything in the middle, but like the pivot animation, um, it takes more because you have to fill in all the little details, like if I move my finger slightly, my index finger slightly to the left, I'd have to fill in all the tiny movements in there, well most of them if you don't want it to look choppy. Okay. Sorry about that. Alright, now you close your render. Um, if you if you do this, and after you hit play, if you want to make it a different color like I showed you in the beginning, you go to this, this guy right here, little circle, and you can just screw around there. And to get to the background, you get a picture of the world, and you screw around with that. Alright, go back to the scenery button, hit play. Wait, just wait. There you go. There is your animation of your spazzing cube. Alright. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, if you're not a beginner, you can make someone kicking it. Like, you can make, like, God's hand come and, like, grab it and take it away. Then you want to press save as. And you want to save it spaz cube dot blend. Save as. Um, alright, so that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did making it. Um, I'll give you my website in the description to the right of this video. Um, subscribe and look for more tutorials and animations. Alright, thank you. See ya.